Okay, so uh, gawa tayo ng project natin. Okay, so uh, uh, this time, hanap tayo ng ating API. Okay, and then if you don't know what's API, it's uh, basically, uh, say, let's say something like this. Okay, so check natin to. Okay, <laughs> not found. Ano tayo ba? Ano ba mga na-try ko na dito? Ito, jokes. Okay. okay, so as you can see in here, ayan. So, ito yung ano natin, gine-get natin sa API. So, ang idea is, si official joke API, ayan, yung website na to is, uh, gusto niya mag-share ng information sa atin or na uh, pwede natin gamitin sa applications natin. As you can see, this one is in JSON format. Okay, so it is very similar to uh, objects or yung object array na ginagawa natin. So actually dito, so kung bibisitahin natin si jokes. So may, we have here, they have here, ito, 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 random 10. And so as you can see in here, ayan, so 10. And, and then every time na nagre-refresh yan, alam ko nagbabago yan eh. Yun. Okay, so nagbabago yung mga jokes natin. So, uh, what if we use this in our uh, Ionic project and then uh, i-ano natin siya, na i-convert natin siya into uh, APK. So, yun yung gawin natin ngayon. Okay? So, uh, let's design uh, our homepage. Okay. So, uh, let's uh, modify this. Hmm. Coolers that go sa ating components or guide color generator I think pwede na natin gamitin to this one is our dark okay so this one is our light or that's the primary I guess secondary tertiary this is the warning mm, I think that's okay Okay, and then you have here, copy natin to, paste natin sa ating variable scss. Now, when we use, for example, color, primary, okay, so we have different color. Now, let's uh, generate another component. Ionic generate component. Ionic generate services. Mm, joke API. Module inside components okay so inside components we have card shared and then we have separate folder for our services register muna natin si shared module mm, components card component exports get module okay and so in our home module.ts tawagin natin si shared module Okay, and then let's try to dash card. Okay, so we have your card, and then okay, so si joke API service natin is uh, register natin sa app module natin services API service, and lagay natin dito si services. Okay, so let's start uh, fetching. Technically, we can use uh, JavaScript. Uh, XML response yung luma okay so uh, pwede mo gamitin yon and then pwede kang gumamit ng promise okay so pwede ka din gumamit ng fetch a sync a wait ayan and uh, observable and subscribe yun yung ginagamit ngayon ng uh, ng angular in our constructor so let's say we have here uh, asynchronous uh Asynchronous. So, it is important kasi gagamitan na natin yung online. Eh, no? So, kapag ka mga online na ganito, it is much better na uh, gumagamit tayo ng mga asynchronous call. If uh, wala tayong error handling or debugging, okay, so, uh, pupwede natin itong i-call. Just uh, type uh, constant, let's say, response yung ating fetch. And then, all you have to do in here sa fetch is... And yung random 10. Actually, yung URL yung kukunin natin. So, in here, random 10, copy natin yan. And then, lagay natin dito yung URL natin. Okay? And then, yan, yung response natin, we can use 
uh, the response. Okay, so or i-convert mo na natin siya okay, uh, into JSON. So i-save natin sa data. Manggagaling kay await response which is eto. Ko-convert natin siya. And then we can now return the data. Okay, so ayan, uh, nasanay lang ako talaga na i-declare na din yung uh, yung public. Ayan, so ilagay na natin yung public async joke na yan. And then uh, let's try to initialize like dun sa may previous video natin. So gusto ko siyang gamitin uh, let's say card component.ts. Sa ating constructor, tawagin natin tong si joke api service. So gawa tayo ng function na if I fetch natin. So, fetch joke from service. Ibig sabihin, kukunin natin dun sa service natin na joke API service. This that joke API dot, ayun, yung initialize uh, joke natin. So, technically, ito, okay, ang i-return nyan is yung na-fetch niya dito sa may uh, URL na yan. Okay, so ngayon, dito sa ating uh, card component.ts, pwede natin siyang i-localize. Ayan. So, let's declare public. Declare muna natin ng... Ayan. Okay. So, and then, in our... Dito, this, that, my jokes. Ayan. So, ilalagay natin yung jokes in sa itong uh, makukuha natin from API. Ilalagay natin sa local variable natin. Okay. So, para magawa natin yun, kailangan i-fire natin to dito na natin siya i-fire sa ng on in it. So this dot fetch joke from service. Okay, so tinatawag natin. Ngayon. Now, let's try to uh, take a look on this uh, API. And so ito yung mga pwede natin gamitin na property. So type, setup, punchline and then ID. And so in our card component that HTML instead of using that, lagay natin interpolation natin yung my jokes tama ba my jokes ang ginamit natin yes my jokes dot ah sorry sorry okay so medyo nakakalimutan natin since ito ay object okay so hindi lang pala mara, hindi lang pala isa yung na-fetch natin so i-loop natin um joke of my my jokes is it my jokes okay so ilagay na natin jokes na lang pala okay that type okay so joke that setup. Ilagay natin ngayon si joke that punchline. I think punchline. Okay. So, try natin tong tignan sa ating iron app. So, we have here uh, this my jokes that exist. Okay. So, dahil uh, okay, binago natin si hindi na my jokes jokes na inilagay natin. Okay, save natin yan and then let's have a take a look. So we have here let's try to reload. So in here this is uh, kailangan async. Yeah, await natin to. Okay. And then let's try. Okay. So yan. So we have now uh, fed, we are now fetching API and sa ating uh, application. Ano ba pwede natin i-design dito? Medium. And then, ang lagay natin ng primary is yung okay, question. Margin sa card natin. Let's add uh, border primary. Okay. 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 Um, color uh, dark, I guess. So uh, now, uh, in Ionic components, okay, uh, refresher. Okay, so gamitin natin si refresher. When uh, you pull this down, and so magre refresh yung page natin. So technically, ito lang siya. Yan. And then, lagay natin dito sa ating HTML natin. Okay, dito sa ating homepage.html. Okay, and then, uh, homepage.ts. Okay, so ito po yun. Ayan. Ayan yung gagamitin natin. Okay, so lagyan lang natin ito ng 
any. Okay. So unfortunately, ito ay uh, nakaset time out lang. So ang idea nito is uh, every 2 seconds. Yeah. So every 2 seconds, so makikita nyo yun, ayun yung refreshing ng page natin. And then walang mangyayari. Kasi kailangan natin ilagay dito yung pag-call ng data natin. Okay, so pero yung data kasi natin is nandito sa loob ng card. Okay, so how we can do that? Okay, so we can use uh, yung view child decorator. Okay, pwede natin i-access yung card component natin inside our home. Okay, so pwede natin i-access yung mga laman neto mga TS natin na yan. Ito, for example, this one, yung uh, fetch joke service na yan. Pwede natin tawagin dito sa ating homepage. Okay, so using view child decorator. Kasi children po nito yan, eh, no? yung card natin. So, at view child decorator. Okay, so make it sure naka-import dun sa may taas. My joke card. So, itong may joke card, ikaw lang magpapangalan nito. And then, uh, maglalagay ka ng type niya. Okay, so, ito po ay hindi siya normal na properties lang. Okay, so, siya po ay magre-represent ng isang component. So, kaya ang ilalagay mo dito is card component. Okay, so, yung pangalan ng component natin na yun. Okay, so, ngayon, uh, ayan siya. Huwag natin siyang lalagay ng uh, value. So, or hindi natin siya lalagay ng value, kaya question mark. And then dito, so kaya nag error po ito, kailangan natin ilagay yung uh, card component natin inside. Okay, so yung card component natin, make sure na naka-import po tayo ngayon dyan. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, kapag nag-handle tayo ng refresh, okay, so tatawagin natin si this dot uh, joke card. Okay, yung joke card natin is yung card component natin na yun. And then, pansin ninyo, kapag naglagay ako ng dot, Ayan. So, maa-access natin yung mga properties na nandun sa kabila. So, po, pwede natin ilagay dito yung, or pwede natin tawagin si fetch joke from service. Okay. So, uh, with that, try natin. Refresh. So, as you can see, ayan siya. Nag-co-complete na siya. Ngayon, meron lang problema kasi hindi natatapos yung uh, refresh natin. So, po, pwede natin uh, ilagay dyan. You can use at then catch. So, ang idea nito, kapag natapos ito, okay, so ito ay again, promise, and then ano pa din po ito, ano, uh, asynchronous. So, sa then block natin, after natin ma-fetch ito, so, po pwede natin ilagay, mag-invoke uh, tayo ng uh, anonymous function, event dot target dot complete. So, ito, ang idea nito, ito na yung, kapag na-fetch niya na, yung ating uh, uh, joke, or na-refresh na na yun. So, tatawagin natin yung event natin na to na complete na. Okay, so actually dito yun eh nang galing din. Okay. So yung event target complete natin na yun. Kapag ka naman for example, let's say um, um we can say that in here sa ating catch, copy natin or this one is the error alert. Yeah, alert natin yung error and then sabihin natin na event dot target dot complete. Okay, so kumbaga parang nilagyan lang natin dito ng uh, uh, let's say kung mag-error yung pag-fetch natin. Okay, so kaya natin siya nilagyan ng catch. Okay, pero yung that then na yan, kung gusto mo lang siyang makit ng kapag ka, uh, if you are pertaining na parang eto ay magre-refresh na agad. So, okay, tanggalin mo yan. Okay na din po yan. Okay, so kapag ka refresh mo siya and mag-ano mag na yan. Ano, okay, so okay na po yung Ah, uh, yung part na yan. So nakita niyo nawala na yung refreshing natin. So nagre-refresh na siya. But for example, wala kang internet connection, naputol yung internet connection mo, it is important na meron kang dot catch. Okay? So and then yung error na yun, yun yung magtho-throw yun yung sasabihin natin dito sa may uh, alert natin. So uh, try ko lang siyang tanggalin sa tanggalin yung internet siguro. Off natin yung internet. Okay, so ayun, ah uh, failed to fetch ang lumalabas kasi wala tayong internet connection. So, that's how you do fetching sa ating API. You can try this, uh, ano, ano, you can search this one, yung uh, free API online ayan, and then, ito yung public APIs 90 plus. Ayan. And meron dito image random ng aso 
Ayan. So, pwede mo siyang ilagay sa Ionic image. Now, uh, let's finish this one since uh, sabi nga natin, uh, kukumpletuhin natin yung project natin. Okay. So, as uh, APK. Okay. So, open tayo ng terminal. Ionic build. Okay. Once na Ionic build, Ionic cap or capacitor, add Android. Okay. So, bago nyo pala gawin to kailangan meron na kayong Android Studio. Dapat nakainstall na yung Android Studio po ninyo. Cap open Android. So, kapag in-enter natin to mag-open yung Android Studio natin. So, kaya kailangan meron kayong Android Studio. Okay. So, ito ang ating Android Studio. Okay. So, in here, sa may baba na to ayan. Nandito sa may ibaba na yan. So, hihintayin nyo lang yan na matapos yung process po na yan. Okay, bago tayo mag-proceed dun sa may susunod na step natin. Okay, so kapag wala na nagpa-process dito sa may ibaba, so in here sa app natin or res, new tayo dito sa res to image asset. Let's uh, find a quick icon sa flat icon natin. Ayan, download natin to. PNG, save natin sa desktop. Ah, click natin yun. Saan na yung desktop natin? Desktop, laugh.png. Okay, and then adjust lang natin siya. Okay, and then dito sa may background layer natin. So, we can add uh, color, for example. Color picker na lang tayo. Oopsie. Okay, so yellow na yan. And then, next, finish. Okay, so ang idea lang nun, magkakaroon ng icon yung ating uh, application. Again, then pwede na tayong pumunta sa build, build bundles APK. Click mo yan. Tatago lang ako. Ayan. Kasi lalabas dito sa may gilid dito yung application natin or yung installer natin na APK kapag ka goods na po ito. Ayan, so once okay na siya, so click natin yung locate. Ito yan. Okay, and then debug, up debug that APK. So, ito na ngayon yung i-install natin dun sa my uh, phone natin. Okay, so uh, let's uh, try to install this one. Okay, so ito na yung ating uh, APK. Uh, hindi makita mga kapatid. <laughs> Tinatamad ako mag-record screen eh. Yeah, pero ito na siya. Okay, so yun yung joke natin. Okay, so kapag uh, slide down natin siya, magre-refresh yung ating application. So, ayan. So, ganun, ganun lang po mag-fetch uh, mag ng, uh, ng API. You can uh, practice that uh, ano application of uh, API.